what is no that was done um oh god i got a brother and oh well hello there hi <laughs> ha i'm trying to get my life together Everybody, I'm Lou and you are welcome to here pretty much too because well I'm lonely and I'm talking to a camera which is weird I need to get a life which I am already trying to do just it's it's it's, it's taking its progress just, you wait I hope you had an awesome time celebrating New Year's Eve with your family your friends and had an awesome great party And if you didn't, I hope you at least have fun taking care of your calves because those precious animals were probably really scared while the fireworks were gone. And you don't have a cat, which means, um, forget about this part, skip to the next part. Since it's New Year and um, everybody is now is in that you know, in that mode where everything has to be organized, there are new plans that we have to do, um, you know, New Year's resolution, and uh, I want to get better in shape, I want to work out, I want to eat healthy, I want to quit smoking, I want to quit drinking, I want to do, I'm going to stop smoking, I'm going to quit drinking, I'm going to eat healthy. It's like some stupid song. If you want to hear my opinion about New Year's resolution, check out my song. Just be reminded, it's a silly, joking. Song. But with the new year at our doorsteps, I think it's time to finally, you know, focus, stay in my lane and, you know, change my life around. I'm talking about doing simple plans, agendas, and getting your life back together because you lost it the moment it struck 12 o'clock. No. This is my bullet journal and as many of you can see, it's pink. I was a girl once. It's from the year 2019, which, come on, focus on me. It's already over. As you can tell from my background, I already have pretty much everything under control. So yeah, pretty much my life still needs some organization. With a bullet journal. What is a bullet journal, you ask? Honestly, I have no idea how to explain this in one sentence. Google. Um, bullet journal explained. And here it is. The bullet journal is an analog system created by Ryder Carroll, a designer based in New York. In his words, the bullet journal is meant to help you track the past, organize, organize, blah, blah, organize the present, and plan for the future. It's an amazing system that keeps a record of everything you could ever want to toss at it. Huh. Google confirm. It's a book where you, you know, write down your appointments and, you know, life gets easier. A bullet journal is basically a book where you write down your appointments, your diary, you can use it for many, 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 blah, 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 many ways. Yeah, it's just the time of things where you just, you know, sit down and you can uh, relax and focus your energy on your art, which you don't have. But if you are an artist and you have the ability to draw quite well, then I suggest to you that you do one of these because it's pretty much what kept me going through this year. I had my downs, I had my ups. More downs than lows. Wait, what? And I'm gonna do one of those diary things. You know the girl stuff that you know, you write down your crushes and all the people that you stalk online. What? So after 2019, I thought I'm gonna buy a new one. I bought actually two more. I don't know why. I just, I like those books. I, it, they're very useful. When you call yourself an artist and have 10 different notebooks and all of them are started but none of them are finished. 
what are a few things that um, you definitely need? Well, first of all, you need you need a book. Oh shit, Sherlock. And I would fairly recommend one of those books where the pages are dotted, not lined, and not squared. It's way, way easier and it looks way, way um, nicer, clean. Like, yeah, it does look clean. You need some pencils, you need some ball pens, you need some markers, a lot of markers. A lot of markers. <laughs> you need some duct tape. And then of course there are a lot of things that you can add to, you know, kind of sprinkle your creativity. I have these stamps, which um, are the letter stamps, but I also have them in numbers. I have them in numbers as well. I didn't use them as much as I'd hoped I would, but I bought them on a reduced price, which is great. Then also I use a lot of these um, in the progress of making them. I kind of tear them away afterwards because I just, I said, I want to make it look clean and simple. And also what I kind of like to use is washi tapes. I'm not giving you the finger. I'm just, you know, this is my longest finger on my hand, so. Uh, I don't think I can make this video kids friendly anymore. I have a lot of these. I have so many of these and um, these are even more. Uh, also what I like is those gold ones because they kind of bring out the shine. I like, I have like three of them. And now my first page. My camera just fell down, oh my god. I hope you're okay. Baby, are you okay? Uh, where was I? I was just at the beginning of explaining what I do in my bullet journal. The first page, I leave it empty um, for my name, my address, and where to return it in case I ever lose the book. Because if my head wouldn't be screwed on, I think I would have lost it many years ago. <laughs> so the first page, as you can see, um, I do a short keys and index explanation of what this book is about and then here I tried to do it in colors but that didn't turn out. Those are the months and um, I left some space so I can write down the pages where to find them and also I wrote feature dog, yearly goals, movies and books. Um, because I'm gonna do a whole um, page on it. I wanted to share with you how I did it in my first book. I kind of decorated my first um, page with the index. Um, with the, Also, I also tried to do the index of the page, future log, and as you can see, I wrote down on the edges, I wrote down the numbers, but it didn't really help because I tore out a lot of pages. The first page in uh, the 2019 bullet journal, I used it about myself and I didn't even finish it. I mean, I still love so many so many things more. I still had colored hair, oh my god. I still had colored hair, that was so cute. I have a few informations, but I didn't write down my address or my, yeah, I don't know why I did that. I didn't do that. First two pages, as you can see, is the future log. This is the most organized part about this entire book and then with the entire month of it I just write down very short what's happening if I visit a friend or I went to an event and the colors ind indicate um, what kind of event is. I should have put some keys of which color was for which color because I ended up not doing them anymore and just writing them down and then as you can see I kind of got lost. I didn't write them down anymore and that that is actually the, the sad part, but I think it still works. I mainly have only my birthday in December, which is not true. The first thing I did was doing a cover, a monthly cover, like the introduction of a new month. You can do them in many, many different ways. Very simple, very simple, you know, just very decorative. Um, it's not always that I do that. I still wanted to decorate the entire edge with those flowers that I did, but I ended up not doing that. Um, I always say a bullet journal is your own journal. You don't have to have rules. You can set up your own rules. Um, there are times that I wrote down uh, habit trackers, but that then didn't end well, but I just wrote them down. Um, and it doesn't even matter if I uh, made it or I didn't. At the end of the year, I also kind of used it as a scrapbook. 
sort of, yeah, I decorate the page and I write down in very, very, very exclusive details what happened that day. Um, that is, uh, especially around Christmas, I print out some little pictures with me, what my gift was for Christmas. Yeah, so it's really up to you how and what you do, in, uh, what you place into your book or an escape room that I did with some friends where I share exclusive details uh, how and what kind of puzzles we had to do which is actually bad, I, I'm not supposed to show that you know, or sometimes I just use it as a page where I only share pictures and other days um, I just use it to to draw a lot ah. That's the great thing about um, bullet journals. At the end, at the beginning, it seems like a lot of work, but um, when you like reach the end of something, you you can actually be very very proud of how far you got. Like for example, this page I made a Disney marathon. There are a lot of 2D Disney songs that I didn't know about, and um, yeah, I just kind of placed them out, and it's very, very colorful, as you can see. Uh, placed in a painting that I did, and I really liked, and I didn't really much write anything. People would say I uh, wasted two pages, but then there are days where I even place in extended uh, papers to make the book longer, because I want to share more details. I leave a lot of space to do some drawing, some art, and um, there are other days where I actually didn't fill out anything. Like, it's pretty much empty, very simple. Um, or here's a page that I will leave empty because I literally have nothing to write about. And I will, maybe in the future, I will put some details in it. But I leave it empty because It's not worth it to go back and dwell in the past what happened in that few months. The main thing is I kept doing it. Like here I wanted to do the introduction of September and I left it out. I only did the habit tracker. And um, yeah, so that is my book. Well, that is all for this video. I hope you liked it and if you did, why not give it a big thumbs up? That would be so cool and really grateful, helpful and amazing because I would really like to support, I would like to support you. And you can write down a comment because, uh, let's get in touch. Come on, let's get in touch. Come on. And, um, I will be seeing you guys next time I post. Um, I don't know when that is, but hopefully soon. And, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, Instagram and Twitter, hit me up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.